Hello, my name is Miska Kaipianen and uh, I'm very excited to speak about Lens, uh, the Kubernetes IDE. Uh, it's the only IDE you will ever need to take control of your Kubernetes clusters. Uh, it will provide complete situational awareness, insights into your apps, components and their life cycle. Uh, it will also allow you to observe, debug and troubleshoot Kubernetes workloads always in the right context. Uh, one of the most important feature of Lens is that it will lower the barrier of entry for anybody who needs to deal with the Kubernetes clusters on a daily basis. Lens is not a web-based application, it's a native desktop application for Mac OS, Windows and Linux operating system. You don't need to install anything in cluster, so everything works on your, on your laptop or your local machine. The software is fully open source and it's free. As you can see, Lens is used globally. Most of the users are coming from USA. In total, we have over 35,000 users and uh, close to 7,000 GitHub stargazers. This is super exciting as it makes Lens one of the top trending Kubernetes projects out there. So now let's go to demo. Thank you, Miska. As a developer who's responsible for deployment and management of my applications, one of the best things I find about Kubernetes is the ability to quickly get applications of all sorts up and running. If we take a look at the overview, we get details of everything from our pods to deployments, stateful sets, daemon sets, jobs, and cron jobs. But it also gives us this event view to understand what happened recently within our cluster. If we dig down another layer into the pods view, we'll get additional tools that would be helpful in troubleshooting. For example, if we take a look at our master, we have all sorts of metrics from the components that have been deployed. We can specifically see that we can actually create shells inside of pods. We can also see the logs that are coming from our pods to be able to get more details about what's going on inside of our container. And if we want to, we can edit delete or get more detailed information about our pod as it's been deployed. While I might not be as comfortable troubleshooting in this CLI, there are some tasks that I find easier using kubectl. Lens brings me a terminal that is very easy to open and also gives me the ability to have my kube context automatically loaded. So if I want to do some basic commands like get nodes, I already have my contact set and I'm talking to my cluster right out of the box. This allows me to use the tool that I'm most comfortable with to perform different tasks. So what about managing multiple clusters? One of the things I found quite lacking in most Kubernetes dashboards is the ability to quickly switch my contacts between multiple clusters. In my case, I'm managing multiple clusters spread across a variety of infrastructures, including bare metal, OpenStack, and AWS. Let's take a look at my production cluster running Docker Enterprise on OpenStack in Europe. In production, my environment is very locked down. This actually works great with Lens as it doesn't require an extra set of role-based access controls in order to provide the same experience. Lens will only show me and give me access to the relevant objects scoped to my native Kubernetes role-based access control. In this case, if I want to get applications into my production environment, I must go through my CI-CD pipeline. So in this case, I'm deploying my example Nginx application through a well-tested CI-CD pipeline. One of the things I find in my CI-CD pipeline lacking is the further ability to do more inspection and the ability to do anything beyond just deploying my application. In this case, it is building, testing, pushing my Docker image to my Docker trusted registry where it's scanning it and then we're signing it and deploying our application. But if I want to do more inspection and more day two type commands and operations, uh, my CIC pipeline doesn't give me that. Lens will give me that further visibility post-deployment that 
can really help me with those day two operations capabilities. So as it's deploying my application, I can jump back to Lens and actually take a look and see what's going on. So from here, I can check the status of my deployments. And as we can see here, we see all of our deployments. Now, if I filter down to my specific namespace that I want to take a look at, I can see the status of that deployment. So if we drill down into that, we can see some more details in terms of when was our application last deployed. So here we can see that we have different revisions of our deployment. We can see that just a minute ago, our CI system just redeployed our dev environment. So if I want to get more details around my application or even make changes to it, this provides me an easy way to do so. Here directly in Lens, I can just edit my deployment as it exists here. So it's currently only deployed as one replica. And in this case, if I want to scale it up to 10, I can quickly make that change, save and close that. So now it's going to be applying those changes to my deployment. Now that I've made that change, I can quickly see those changes occur right in front of me. If I take a look at our pods, we'll see that it's shortly going to be updating to scale out to our 10 replicas for our deployment. Now we see that we have 10 pods that have been deployed right here from Lens. If you're interested in more information on Lens, please stop by our virtual booth as we will have Lens developers and team members to assist. Also coming are some great new features such as plug and third party integrations, teams and collaboration, and many more. If you liked what you saw and want to take a look for yourself, follow the link below to get started with Lens today.